My name is Jonathan Gibbs. I'm a strip tiller from Fox Lake, Wisconsin. Um, right behind me here, we've got our Hineker corn planter. It's an eight row corn planter, um, originally designed in Minnesota for use in uh, a ridge till environment. Uh, we brought it into Wisconsin, uh, kind of no tiller for uh, conservation till. Um, and once we started strip tilling, a uh, couple different things we did to our planter. We're running triple culture up front. Um, we were using uh, one of the Ross and Coulters uh, to put a two by two fertilizer on. Um, and one of the disadvantages we saw with that is uh, it trapped uh, corn stalks behind that tine and caused the coulter to plug up. So we, in, we did end up uh, removing the fertilizer tine um, and switched our roll cleaners out for Sunco Nutrimate 3 um, with their roll cleaner on. So now we're putting a uh, two by two liquid fertilizer on and we're ensuring that gets into the ground uh, versus on the top. And uh, we just use our roll cleaners just to skim off any uh, corn residue or any residue left on the soil or rocks in some cases. We chose to leave the Ross and Coulters on. Um, if we end up strip tilling a couple weeks ahead of our planter, we've had our ground kind of seal back up. And uh, we found a nice advantage is to drop in the Ross and Coulters back in the ground to freshen that ground up and loosen it back up uh, right in front of our planter unit. Um, so that's a couple of changes we made once we went to strip till uh, that we found beneficial in our planter. Right now any future modifications would be a bigger planter to kind of get across the get across or through our planting season quicker. Um, we we changed we went from straight you know, two by two to we we do run a pop-up of three gallons of 1034 with some zinc and ascend um, through a totally tubular tube run under a seed. That's one other modification or change we did make. Um, lot, some of these changes were made within the last year. We'd like to run our planter, you know, for a couple of years to see how it does. Every season seems to be different. We'd like to see how it does across a couple seasons uh, to make sure that's the you know, direction we want to head and assess where we want to go from there. Um, Eventually, as far as a corn planter itself, I'd, I'd like to get to electric drives. Um, we're running row shutoffs right now, um, but I think electric's a smoother running meter. Um, I'd like to get to electric drives, probably on my meter, and maybe head to vacuum. We're currently running a precision finger meter in our units. And it's, for us, it's very versatile. I mean, we still do a little. Um, tillage full with tillage on our corn where we have manure. Um, so it allows us to be pretty versatile uh, whether we're in our strip till ground, uh, which encompasses most of our acres or we're back in our you know, conventional till ground. Um, we're, we haven't dedicated our planter you know, just to one system. Um, but it's, it's basically the iron we had on the farm to start with and we've been able to you know, adapt it you know, to use what we or fit, fit our needs.